Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is February 14th and that means this is the sketch that we are following. Um, a bunch of photos, a big old place for journaling, and some partial circles. So I have some wood grain paper for my background and then for my 100 day project I am making a 100 stenciled backgrounds um, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, use that today. So let's see what I can do. Alright guys, here is one of those times where I forgot to push record. So let me talk to you a little bit about this. So this is my 100 day project right here. Uh, my 100 day project is I'm going to do 100 stenciled backgrounds on my reels and Instagram. So I did a stencil print. This is the background, this is the print, and this is the piece of paper that was underneath of the stencil that ended up getting a stencil. So I uh, tore this up, I tore it and trimmed it down so it would fit here to match the sketch. And then I also tore it in kind of a semicircle in the center so it would match the sketch. Now my photos didn't exactly match what was in the sketch. And, um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't really feeling the photo placement. And I kind of just did my own thing. And I have a lot of Country Bear photos. And this is what I came up with. And this is what I'm happy with. So I have all of these photos. I decided to mat this photo over here because it was a lot of dark on dark background. And I wanted a little bit of differentiation even though this is a dark cardstock color. I still wanted that uh, to be there. Now this is, I was looking over here, I was like I have this paper here but nowhere else. So I just decided to tuck another layer right here. Um, there will be some journaling over here. I don't know what I want to say yet. Um, is just not there so that will go here um, and then I added some of this really fun silver circuitry circley washi tape and I decided to go all the way down here and then I spanned it from this edge to this edge as well now it did get covered up by this arrow paper and also um, this piece that you just saw me put on I had this silver and white label and I just used two different alphabets. This is from Studio Calico and this is from Doodlebug Design. And I just went ahead and spelled out country bears. Now I also have these sequin, uh, super sized sequin hearts. I popped them up on some uh, pop foam and just sprinkled them so that I would have three on the side and three on the side. I toyed with the idea of adding a couple more throughout the photos, but I really like this, that the photos are kind of telling the story. Like you're seeing a lot of different country bears and there's not a lot of competing elements on the page. Um, I do still have more country bear photos, um, so those will like definitely go on another layout and I deliberately kept these three because they're all in this uh, stage. Fun fact, I also have this one where it's the three girls and they sing all the guys that turn me on turn me down and this cracks me up so much. So this is definitely getting its own page um, but I really like the feel of this. It feels Disney to me. Um, even though it's not traditional Disney, it also feels a little country to me for the country bears. Um, so that is going to do it for this layout, you guys. Like I said, so sorry I did not hit record, but make sure you join the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. That's where you can uh, join and get access to all of the sketches for Follow a Sketch February. And head over and hit me up on my Instagram uh, so that you can see my 100 day project where I am doing 100 or stencily backgrounds. I almost said sketchy backgrounds, but that's not, that's not it. It's stencily backgrounds. So there it is, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another video.